Henri Matisse's bouquet of circa 1916-17 is one of the masterpieces of the museum's modern European collection. Matisse came to painting relatively late uh, compared to his precocious rival Pablo Picasso, whom Matisse met in 1906 in Paris in the Salon of Gertrude Stein. By this time, Matisse had already established himself as the leader of a group of artists, younger artists whom he'd met in, uh, as a student, who had come to be known as the Fauves. Uh, Fauve, I should say, meaning wild beasts. This was the term that a not altogether flattering critic gave to the work of Matisse and his followers when he saw it in 1905. The element of the wild and beastly that was being described in these paintings was the use of color. Now Matisse had been working in a more impressionist vein and had learned from that generation of artists the virtues of contrasting colors used in a sort of pseudo-scientific fashion to evoke what was being experienced by the eye. What Matisse brought to the paintings of around 1905 was something quite radical and the practice of using paint directly from the tube unmixed by the likes of Monet perhaps, Renoir, or their post-impressionist followers like Van Gogh was going to be simplified, reduced to fields of color, areas that flattened the picture in a way that distinguished him from his predecessors. Now, he's very conscious of Picasso's development of Cubism and the way in which, together with Georges Braque, is using the most familiar motifs, that's to say still life, portrait subjects, elements that are not in themselves radical and doing something quite transformative with them in their presentation on the canvas. Matisse, in contrast, retreats to a more limited palette. I want to call attention in particular to the thinly brushed gray ground and the way that the silvery tone is used to offset the chromatic fireworks of the flowers. What Matisse is bringing though to his art is a new decorative sensibility. And this I think is really exemplified in this large still life. Painted during the period of World War I, when Matisse, who is himself too old to serve, has retreated to the countryside and begun painting motifs that are as neutral and far removed from the political circumstances of the moment as could be imagined. Anticipating the more all-over decorative art that Matisse would move towards as his forms become more and more reduced to elements of flatness, a little like the petals of a flower pressed between the pages of a book.